Kansas Speedway is gearing up for a big race this weekend, and now organizers are taking a closer look at security procedures, along with many other public venues across the country because of the attacks in Boston. Sarah Hollenbeck talked to the president of the Speedway this morning. And Sarah, what are they doing in response to the attacks? Mitch, they're not changing too much here, or at least what we can tell you that they're changing. They keep a lot of security under tabs here because that's the reason why it stays so safe. But I can tell you that you'll notice two things if you come out to the racetrack this weekend, and that's more officers patrolling around the track, as well as longer lines through security to get through if you bring a backpack or a cooler, which they allow here, and that makes this stadium a little bit more unique than others. Okay, we're having some problems with Sarah's mic. I will kind of fill you in on where she was going with this. She says the Speedway is unique. Just three weeks after 9-11, the track hosted its first race. So its security procedures are among the strictest in the country. That's according to the president of the Speedway, Pat Warren. Now, the Speedway is unique in that it allows fans to bring in beverages, including alcoholic beverages, and food into the grandstands. Now, Warren told Sarah at this point, there are no plans in place for that to change. If you see something, say something. It's important. We've got thousands of people here, uh, and the best defense is people, if they see something suspicious, let someone know. The Speedway security team will continue to reevaluate the security throughout the race week, which runs Friday through Sunday. And of course, that was uh, Sarah Hollenbeck reporting and giving us all that information. Now,